Okay, this is another viewer question, and the question is on an offline install. Uh, so let me give you the situation. This person does not have internet access 24/7. The only way they get it is they go to you know maybe a cyber cafe or school or the friend's house, and that's how they were you know at, get internet access. And he, he does have a laptop and he does have a live CD or USB. I'm not sure which one, but it's pretty much the same process here. So what you want to do is bring your equipment to the internet source, okay? And what you want to do is, well, the first thing you do anything is um, do a sudo apt get update just to refresh your list. And uh, let's clear that here. Uh, next thing, well, normally, you know, if you have internet access, you would do a sudo apt get uh, upgrade to get your security. Because this person wanted to, you know, upgrade uh, their security or whatever that they have on their system, and you see, normally what we do is just do a sudo app get upgrade, and uh, you have all the lists of what is going to be downloaded and upgraded. Uh, so we can't do that on our system because we don't have internet access. But what you can do is uh, generate a list uh, of links, and you can download from anywhere, like on a Windows computer or whatever it doesn't really matter um, so what we're gonna do is uh, cancel this out so normally that's how you would do it but what we're gonna do is generate a list uh, so to do that we do a sudo apt get dash dash print uh, URI, URIs here and we're gonna assume it's yes so dash y uh, and then we since you want to get security updates, because that's what this person wants, uh, you want to do upgrade. And we're going to pipe that through grep. And we're going to grep out just single quotes. Okay. And then we're going to cut uh, the perimeter of, let me see here, of the single quotes. Uh, field 2. So F2. And we're going to put that into a. Uh, a file and we call the file whatever we want so let's say my list dot txt okay and basically what it's going to do is generate a list of the file so let's uh, list it out here so we have my list there xdg open so I'll, I'll show you what it looks like so we open this you see the list is um, all the files that I, I uh, you know I want to upgrade or or what they you know they showed me last time when I do a sudo app get update right oh, I mean upgrade I mean and you see that what we did was generate a list of uh, the files and it has the the whole links so HTTP blah 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 uh, so what we're going to do is use this list and download everything in there okay so let me give you an example how would you do that in here so let's clear this. Uh, so make sure you CD into the folder where the file is at. So you can see our file is in here, my list, right? And when I use this built-in downloader, wget, uh, it should come with just about all the Linux distribution. And when you use uh, dash i for input, and when you use that file that we just made, so my list.txt, and what's gonna do is look at each line of that, and it's just gonna download it, okay? So if you do this, it's just going to download everything uh, on that list. So we'll wait for a few seconds. Um, it's not a lot, but you know, if for your system, it probably take longer because you have more packages than than me. Okay, so we clear that now. If we uh, list it again you can see that it downloads all the dev files let me open this in the folder so you can see a better example see xdg open right all these files now you wouldn't want to click on each one of these and then you know say I want to install this if it opens you know you, you want to want to do this because you're going to run into dependency hell and all that so what you want to do 
is use this command, but I don't want to really do it now. sudo uh, dpkg dash i uh, for install, and you want to do star. Star means that it's gonna look at all these uh, dev files, and it's gonna install it one time. So star dot dev, okay, and it's gonna look at all the dev files, install it one time, and you're completely updated. So that's how you would do it, um, you know, from here. But you know, it, when you go to the site, uh, whether you, you use your laptop or not, uh, I mean, if you're gonna use your laptop, you're just gonna update it uh, automatically. I'm assuming you're gonna use a USB or maybe a Windows machine uh, or whatever, and uh, you're gonna download the devs. So what you wanna do is import your devs uh, back into your, you know, your Linux system, and then after that, you run this command and uh, it should uh, install everything in there and you'll be updated uh, so that's how you do it to get the security updates if you want just to get single files um, you can do the same thing but uh, instead of saying upgrade here instead of saying upgrade you can do like uh, install I don't know Comfer or Firefox if I spell it right, Firefox, right, or whatever, then it'll, it'll do that for you. Now, this assumes that you don't have that file on your system already. If you already have it on your system, this is not really a good command to use for that, all right? But that's how it works. Hopefully, that helps you out. Hopefully, it answers your question. Uh, so that'd be it for this one.